Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. We have Kim Whitley, who's here in this bright pink already cursing people out. Hey. <laughs> we have Tisha Campbell. What's happening? And Yvette Nicole Brown. Hey. Welcome, everybody. What's going on? So excited. How y'all feeling this morning? Oh, good. good. I got some sleep. I'm got some sleep? Good. I'm still hungover, but you know, I was out with Lunell last night. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I don't know what that was. No, in no, Detroit. Was in Detroit. Oh, yes, in Detroit. Detroit. Oh, yes, Detroit. 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 Me and Lunell were at the uh, Motor City uh, Casino, the soundboard. Wow. Oh, sure. Yeah. So, you know, I, I know I, that's the time. You yeah. and Lunell. Yeah. 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 And thank you. We had a good time, soundboard. We had a good time. And y'all been running around promoting the show uh, Act Your Age. Yes. That's right. On, on Bounce show. TV. Bounce TV. Mm -hmm. Why we got to act our age? Why? Then nobody said you got to. That's just the name of the show, bro. Okay. No, no. No. <laughs> I, I will do. never act, act my age, age, but my knees act my age. <laughs> act their age. So, just my knees. I got some other things on me to act. It's age and it ain't working too good oh, right now. Yeah. Don't go there already. We just got it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> 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 she always pulls us back she's together. I need to tell on, them the back. truth. Pull us back in. How, how'd y'all come together for the show? Mm. All right. Go it ahead. was Allison Faust. Okay. Mm -hmm. Allison Faust is an executive uh, producer of the show and writer. And I worked with her with my wife and kids and you. Hey, um, big shot. Uh, may she's, rest in peace. She's right. been in the business forever, right? right? But she's one of those women who you, when this, when her scripts come up, you trust them. You know they're going to be, be good. Right. Yep. And so when she called us individually and she got this opportunity to do her mm -hmm. own show finally for the first time yeah. in all these years, like... It was the year of the yes for me. So mm -hmm. I was saying yes to about everything and mm -hmm. everybody. It didn't matter who it was. Yeah. It didn't matter how big the part was. That's what if you're going to call me as a resource, I'm going to do it. So mm -hmm. I, and that's what happened with um, Allison. She called me and I was like, yes, let's make it happen. If I could make it happen with my schedule, let's do it. Because she's is amazing. We really haven't had a chance as black women in this industry mm -hmm. to be leads. We were always the girlfriends, the meter maid, the, the prostitute. You know Kim, me. That's Kim's story. That's Kim's story. <laughs> like, that's Kim's know, story. This is the first time we get to come together and actually have stories that are about us. You know, it's, yep. we're driving. It's, it's us getting a job. It's mm -hmm. us taking a, a driver's test, whatever it is. And that's new. And then all three of us are on equal footing. We all get to lead and carry this show and support each other. And, it's and we're blessing. real yeah. friends. But we're real friends. We like, yeah. go to each other's houses. We yeah. have out, yeah. borrow each other's wigs. You know, no, we just, don't borrow each other's wigs. You ain't borrow nothing. You just be taking stuff. First you do is, still hold wigs. Still so in our show, what's the next question, baby? <laughs> 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 I, I was going to ask. <laughs> You guys have been in so many great sitcoms and great films. Do you ever compare to what you guys have accomplished? Like, I got to beat that. Oh, yeah. Every day. All Not day. me. No. Really? No, I'm 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 pretty content with whatever I get. I'm not somebody that's that's I'm not grabbing this. No no judgment for those mm -hmm. that are ambitious. I'm just mm -hmm. not ambitious. I I've always joked that I'm kind of Forrest Gump. I look mm. up and go, oh, I'm at the <laughs> breakfast club. Yeah, right. I, I don't yes. have any plans for anything. I just, whatever God brings, I take it and I'm happy with it. So, I, so, I, so I, bring I, in that's God. That's interesting, Yeah. Because yeah. you, you, you say you're not ambitious, but clearly you has to be some type of ambition, right? Or an no, intention, not no, an intention? No, you know what I think it is? I think of performance and anything you do in this industry as an offering instead of a taking. Ooh. So if somebody mm. comes and says, do you want to do this? I'm like, what can I give? What can I bring? Mm. What can mm. I show? Who can I help, man. right? Oh, so it's good. less about, I got to get this. It's mm -hmm. like this, if mm -hmm. somebody needs me, if somebody needs me, I'm a go. Mm -hmm. So it just works out that he puts me places where I get to do stuff and it's ended up being a great blessing, but it's not me driving and it's God driving it. He mm -hmm. meaning the Lord. The yes. Lord. There you go. The now, what about, Lord. What about you, Tisha? Because you made one of our producers cry yesterday. Oh, <laughs> Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Yes. Yes. You made him cry yesterday. He was like, I was like, why'd you cry? He was like, I grew up on the show and oh, so I know sweet. everything about us. So, so sweet. So now what about you? How, you know, how do you try to compare it? it it's, it's, it's different for me in that I keep making new goals for myself. Mm -hmm. There's always a new goal. So I never wallow in any type of what people deem success yeah. because there's never a, it, it, it always keeps going up for me. Got you. So I never ever wallow. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, I kind of look at this whole thing like a game, like a football game. So mm -hmm. like I'm going for a goal and the goal keeps mm -hmm. getting further and further mm -hmm. but i have my teammates people mm -hmm. who's like-minded mm -hmm. or you know it could be this it could be the same mother goals it could be it doesn't necessarily have to be career goals mm -hmm. but there's always a new goal mm -hmm. and i don't pay attention 
when we talk about wallowing, I don't pay attention to the crowd noise or mm -hmm. what other people say because you could get caught up in that, and mm -hmm. that's how you get caught up into the fame monster, mm -hmm. like fame paying attention vapor. to the crowd fame noise. Whether that that's their job, mm -hmm. they're there to boo, mm -hmm. they're there to give the clap. So mm -hmm. don't pay attention to the mm -hmm. accolades or you know somebody mm -hmm. the critics. You just have to keep you know mm -hmm. your eye on the prize. Ain't that's no, it. Do you have ambition, Kim? I was waiting on if y'all gonna. Leave me some time on the show. Some time. Kim, don't say what you're going to say. We got time. What are you doing? Oh, they see me sitting here. Kim, because we know you're going to take over the goddamn interview. I'm not going to take over nothing. So listen here. I know God need me. Do you have ambition, Kim? Yeah, I got ambition. You know, I do have ambition. Yeah, you do. 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 You what I just like that I have gone through this uh, industry by letting God just whatever mm -hmm. you know happens mm -hmm. that's for me and what I started doing now at this point in my life is what makes me happy mm -hmm. yes. I, I want to have yes. fun in my job yes. I want to be happy mm -hmm. I got a son at home mm -hmm. so you know I got to deal with that and I have to make sure I make time for him or he's mm -hmm. gonna grow up and write a book about me so <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this show act your age on, on bounce make sure you watch it every Saturday uh -huh. um, it really is joy mm. so that's mm -hmm. that's my ambition and I like the I, I've been getting a lot of awards you know I just got another NAACP two. Two. NAACP two. NAACP the two. second one yes. that's right for uh, one me and Sherry Shepard's mm -hmm. podcast uh, mm -hmm. Two Funny Mamas make sure you subscribe um, <laughs> but it so joy I think mm -hmm. that's where my ambition is and of course I'd like to win awards and go next and I'm gonna be honest with you it's gonna sound crazy I'd like to play a slave that's about my could you stop hell, Kim? Kim, what? Kim could you hell? stop? That's gonna be a headline. Kim Woodley says she likes to be a play a slave. I'd like to play something because you know. You what mean happens? something deep? No, I'm be, this gonna sound Please wrong. Help. You Lights, can you? Okay, you wanna play something deep? You know what's gonna sound wrong? You didn't mean slave. You didn't mean slave. Not slave. You didn't mean slave. You want a meaty role where you can really show your vulnerability and your drama. That's what you want. You don't want to play a slave. I'd like to be in a period piece. Okay, then you okay. say that. There That's you good. go. I'd like to be in the. Uh, no, 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 you're going to go stay there. That's a good place. <laughs> yeah, right there. That's what I'm saying. She got you. Your you sister know, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister, sister got you. Sister got you. Sister got you. Let it marinate. Rewind it and cut this. Let it marinate right there. You're not going to get that up. Point the breakfast club. Don't do the breakfast club. Let's cut this. I'm going to get careful. Then you're fine. You're going to get careful. Okay, so maybe that's what People know what you mean. I want to play like a deeper role. There you go. You got it. But I like it to be in a period piece. There you go. Stop right there now. We done. That was it? That is it. We got it. Like what Will Smith just did with Emancipation. That, that, that's why I like you. There you go. That's why I like you. Yeah, How do yeah, you yeah. get your name? Um, I used to say my name was Charles no. or Charlie, and then I was just reading in a history book, and I saw that Charlemagne was French for Charles the Great. Oh. So, you know, one of the things when you're high and you're 17, you just pick up. Oh, that's I funny. like that. Mm -hmm. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> you know, it was interesting what you said about uh, not being the lead, because, like, to us, Tisha, you... Even though the show was called Martin, this mm -hmm. Gina is still the you lead. Kind of the lead. Thing. Uh, you know, I, I, yeah, you were kind of the lead. And my wife, well. it wasn't no kind of, she was yeah. a lead. And no, my, and my wife and kids, Martin you the wife. Me. Like, you know? You know, the way that I look at that, though, like, I love being the support system mm -hmm. to anybody. Like, I love to watch people win. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even with my sisters on the mm -hmm. show, like, we'll give each other jokes, uh, jokes like, yes. say this to me or say this to mm -hmm. the yeah, camera. Do this when or, you walk out the door. Yeah, right up, yeah, yeah, we want the other person to win. And, and I love being the support system. It's like a, it's like a dance to me. It's like mm -hmm. a waltz mm -hmm. to me when I can see a comedian because, you know, comedians can be really big or they can be really small. So when they go mm -hmm. big, I ground the scene. It's it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I love, mm -hmm. and I learned a lot. And I'm talking about this now because I've, I've said it in a couple of interviews, but I really realized how much Damon and Martin's um, comedic uh, mm -hmm. uh, gifts, ability. gifts, ability, thank you, mm -hmm. affected me. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, when I'm working on this show, I try to find, put the pieces of the puzzle together. Allison and, and the rest of the writers are so good. They mm -hmm. really lay it out. It's there on a the page, but I like finding the funny in between the lines because that's what Martin was great at. Mm -hmm. He was really brilliant because he would find some, and he's ad-libbing at all times. Mm -hmm. So I find that my comedic style is really similar. And then watching Damon, his comedic intellect is sort of like, 
gosh, he's so he's so witty yeah, and we so do smart. Know that. I had yeah, that like, on your show. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. You said yeah. get ready for him. We, I did wife and kids. I played her best friend, mm -hmm. and uh, she told me she was like, oh, "Get ready." I was like, "What you mean, get ready?" She said, "Damon, he gonna say some things. And you got to be ready for him." Yeah. And you were right. I yeah. thought I had him. I was killing it, killing it. He came back on me. I shut up. Said, "Where the lines? Let me." <laughs> <laughs> the comedic <laughs> intellect is yeah. so so yeah. high, like Dave Chappelle. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I learned a lot from them. Do y'all understand the impact that you guys have on culture? Do y'all ever sit back and say how great you were for us growing up and what you meant to us as kids and teens and growing up and just the things that we've seen in all the shows? Do y'all ever realize well, how big it was? First of all, I don't, when you say you grew up with me, how old are you? Exactly. That, that sounds bad because you, you look like you're 56. So. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, I'm just I'm just playing. Go ahead. You cute and little. I forget it now. No, 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 no you should live a life that if, as they watch you, you know, you don't do anything that makes them feel crazy. So I try to make conscious decisions when I'm on camera. I get a little naughty in a voiceover. So if you mm -hmm. see me in an animation, ain't no telling. I got you. But if you Shea see Bilen. my face, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that note, Jay Pollen is really sweet. That's mm -hmm. more, that's for the kids. But there's some stuff coming where it's going to be a little rough okay. for the babies. Mm -hmm. But if you see my face, I want you to be able to go, that's Helen, and not go, what is Helen doing? So I feel like as, we hear this all the time from performers, well, I'm not a role model. You are, and you may mm -hmm. not want to be. You may not like that you are, but when you put yourself in the public space and there's a, a spotlight on you and you're on a platform, people are paying attention to what you say and do. Maybe you don't care. Maybe you're fine with it. I care. You hear that, I Kim? want the babies. You got your three times. That's three for him to go. I was able to flash back. Just see how the stand. I was in my mind like, dang on. I was playing sugar. But this is the thing. Everybody okay. got to know what their call is. Mm -hmm. What what I've been called to do mm -hmm. is different from what you've been called to do. And there's no judgment with what you do. Your path is your path. My path is my path. So I'm not sitting back going, everybody needs to do this. I'm saying this is what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I got I take care of this. Right. And everybody else should take care of this. You know what I mean? And the world but, will be better if you just focus on you, you did this. Right. But it is part of the culture. I think about my first movie next Friday. Mm -hmm. think about my things Absolutely. that we have done because people do you come go, up girl. and they're like, oh my gosh, you had that. no idea. I was like, oh, I got oh, I'm going to be with Mike Epps. I'm going to be with mm -hmm. Cube. You're mm -hmm. excited, but you don't realize you're absolutely right mm -hmm. what it does. Uh, with the culture and in life, and, and like like him crying yesterday, yeah. seeing you know seeing seeing people and he's excited. That's that's it. That's, that's your that's your legacy. That's your legacy. You that's I your think legacy. when I when I saw mm -hmm. myself in the African American Smithsonian, Whew. wow, that was I, I literally you cried. just gonna throw that. You just gonna say that? No, no, no. That's a wonderful thing to share. I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm on the Smithsonian somewhere. Great. I wrote my name in the bathroom. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say the Smithsonian. No, it really shocked me, and I literally cried because I was. And expecting it, I didn't know that mm -hmm. it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. there. I was thinking that when we came in and looking at this wall, imagine coming in here and seeing yeah, your face on this wall. Like you know yeah. that you, I, I'm here, I'm still here, I'm mm -hmm. here, right. I was here, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's it's that feeling we all want that. And so some people through their children they have that, some people mm -hmm. through their work they have mm -hmm. it, and it's great that we get to leave leave a, a footprint. We for, were in this industry. Yeah, for me, I, it was always a grind. I was always on a grind, so I wasn't looking up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I was running mm -hmm. and I was concentrating on paying bills. I've been paying bills since I was five years old. Mm -hmm. So I was concentrating on helping family or helping myself mm -hmm. and, and getting us into a better space. And just now I'm starting to, at, at the age that I am, really like look around as it's happening. I'm in the moment. Right. I'm present in it. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't before. And it was a friend of mine named Berkeley. And oh, he, Berkeley. Had, yeah, mm -hmm. he had made me more conscious of living in the moment because I would say random stuff yeah. like, oh yeah, when I made um, Thanksgiving dinner for Tupac, and he was like, you can't just say you made Thanksgiving dinner for Tupac. And I was like, oh, that's not like normal. No, right. no, that's not normal. Right. 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 Now I want to hear the story. Yeah, now right. I want to hear the story. No, now. no, it was just like me, Dwayne, and he came over and we all just had like- Was that in New Jersey, insane. LA, New no, York? No, I was in LA. Mm -hmm. But long story short, like I was like, oh, I get it because I worked with Pam Greer one time and Pam mm -hmm. Greer would throw out all these 
stories and mm -hmm. I would call them, now we call them PG, Pam Greer stories. And she was like, yeah, when I was in, in bed with Yoko and John and, and Richard Pryor and we were mm -hmm. making music all night. I was like, you can't just say he was <laughs> just in the bed. That's, that sounds wild. Making that music. Does. But that's just our life. Just like it's just your life. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. It, it, now I was like, okay, I'll be more conscious of it. So now I'm in a place where this is actually happening. Mm -hmm. I'm with these amazingly talented uh, friends, friends that yeah. Are have that I've admired and that I love. But I want to know why Pac ain't had nowhere to go for Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, How you end up I, with y'all? Like, nobody got no time. Okay, it was a bunch of us. Like I, I used to have like really big parties. Now my parties are like two, three people. Right. But I used to have parties. like like I a lot of. I used time. to cook a lot. I mm -hmm. I used to cook a lot, and so people <laughs> would just come over. Nineties. Yeah. Do you remember what you made? Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. That mac and cheese. <laughs> for like 30 people yeah. like a, you know every single time that's so something like, i've never heard time. all the pocket stories you've heard i've never heard damn tupac was at a thanksgiving dinner you know yeah he eats pocket I'm, i know that yeah, but you he, just he, never he, heard he enjoyed that. Meal. yeah i love yeah, that yeah. do y'all hate good. being typecast where they feel like your name is like for instance you know everybody's gonna call you gina for the rest of your life do you hate that when no. you like no it doesn't bother you i love it really Yes, absolutely, because that means that it, like they said, it made it some type of yeah. okay. impact. Like, but that's cute. It's Gina. like the Brady Bunch. It gotta get annoying sometimes. It, no, only by my son, because he calls me Gina all day. Hilarious. Gina, can you oh. make me something that's to eat? Funny. Gina, See, can you? That's, that's funny. Like, I was in the mall the other day, I passed by D.L. Hughley, <laughs> And Throw I was like, DL. Throw out one more name. <laughs> no, no, that's Throw not what I'm saying. <laughs> so no, 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 I was saying because okay. he was laughing at my son because my son kept calling me Gina, like, Gina, get over here, Gina, look at this, Gina. And I was like, if you call me Gina one more time, I'm going to kick your butt. And he started cracking up. And that's the only reason. That's the last name I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, sugar, I love it. Sugar, now it's, uh, sugar let me tell you something. It gets on your nerves because it's always some man, Auntie Sugar. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> It's go. never, you know. Oh, no, it's still there. Is it? Yeah. Hard. I love how you sit to check each other. Okay. No, that ain't going to help. Not that. You good. You good. How are you doing? Help. Do we get a tissue? No, no. no. She good. She good. I love you. She good. She good. I do a sweet little she Virgo. She she I'm a sweet little Virgo. You got it. You got it. Don't go. I know. Hey, you right. Yeah, you fall for it. I did. I did. You know, Virgo my compliment. You sweet. Ah, yeah. You just called me 60 years old. No, I did. I was praying because now that I really looked at you, you look young. And I love that your beard is real. It's That's not real, ma'am. It's not. No, it's not real. You got me. Good job. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. It's I'm gonna start telling him it's real. The beard is real. It's real. <laughs> it's real. It's real. You got a weave you, on your face. He just tugged on it. It's real. No, no, no. The hair is real. The color oh. is not. That's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, you like this. Got no hair. That's why he like can't grow hair. So that's his problem. Look, that's why he wears the hat on the table. Good too. Thank you. Look at you. Thank you. He got a nose job too. Did wow. You? I did not That's get a good. nose. Wow. What's they happening? They removed polyps from my nose. I understand. So I, I believe you. They did not touch I my nose. You. It's not the same. But I told them if I got a nose job, I'll get the Peter Pan nose. I don't have a nose job. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you ever get a Peter don't Pan nose. That. Okay, that is okay. insane. And you know what? Just like you guys, this is history, what you've done with what the show. Done. Absolutely. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Congratulations. I mean, do you thing. think about it? Yeah, do you ever think about, like, oh, like what you've done for the culture? Um, no, I, don't. I think we just in it. Yeah, we right, know. exactly. We just we in it. it. But it does bother me sometimes when, like, let's say I'm on a plane and somebody be like, DJ MV. And it's like, I, yeah. I'm, I'm trying it. to be low yeah, sometimes. I'm just, you know, sometimes, I'm just going but, to Florida. But the it's fact right. that they do it makes me feel the way that they actually listen to the show. So I, I do love it. On I don't like and it salute to Angela Yee. You got to salute Angela Yee, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. oh, we just saw Angela. We saw her yesterday. She hosted our premiere in Our panel. She sure did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really did. With all of y'all resumes, 
in the business, do y'all still run into struggles and like obstacles in, in the industry? Absolutely. That's oh, what sure. I mean. That's the whole point of Act Your Age is yep. that this is the first time for me in my career. They, they of course, started before me and I, I revere them. They're but a lot older, you're saying? Not a lot older at all. He does some no, shit. she you started as a baby. Did you catch that? He did. He, 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 he deserved it. We deserved it. It was a friendly fire. He's going to catch it because now I'm going to go on your side. But on Act Your Age, the whole point of it is that this is the first time we get to come together and be fully ourselves on a on a show, right? And yeah. so that's that's new. Before this time, it was always a bit of struggle because nobody was writing for you. Nobody understood you. Nobody cared about what happens to black women in this industry mm -hmm. as they write. Mm -hmm. We're always coming in. I'll, I'll say this. Most of my shows, I'm asking the white girl, enjoy your date. Oh, you're so pretty. I think you're great. Everything is about them. Mm -hmm. There's no questions about, well, how my husband doing on the show? What my kid mm -hmm. doing on the show? On this show, on Act Your Age, we all take care of each other. Can I say where they can find it? In case of course. They don't know yeah. If you go to bouncetv.com forward slash find us, you can find where the show is. It is literally floating in the air. It's everywhere. So please support it's us. Free. Please. It's free. You don't have to pay cable. Stream it. on It's on Roku. Dish. It's on YouTube it's TV. On, uh, Tubi. Uh, 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 and HD TV. antenna. Yeah. yeah. We got it all. We got you it can all. find Bounce. Yes. We'll be able to find. Yeah. Absolutely. You Absolutely. Find please support show. us because the thing is, if we have this show, then we get to make more of these shows absolutely and what i want to say also about act your age is that we i was a kid watching golden girls i was a, a 12 year old black girl in the hood mm -hmm. watching these older white ladies in Florida. exactly and yeah. why because it was universal and right. our show is universal in the same way so People, those are, everybody's yeah, gonna so like those it. are the watching mm -hmm. that are not black or of a certain age please understand this show is for you too because uh -huh. we're talking about real issues we have two wonderful young actors nathan anderson and mariah robinson that are on the show so we in. got something for the for yeah. the gen z's and mm -hmm. the millennials as well and i promise it's a and it's laugh tune loud in, you are show. going to enjoy these, this show i these promise two are fools yeah, we, to these mother. three are fools. but i have struggled <laughs> look i went back to me i have struggled. <laughs> all my life i had oh, my life i got the <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say it again. Now, oh, is, there, is there any part that you guys? Yeah, you just cut her off. She's trying to talk about her struggle. You oh, see what I'm talking about? No, he got. No, she cut her off. She's about to say the slave thing again. He got out of there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is there any part that you guys passed up and was like, damn, I shouldn't have passed up? Ooh, ooh, that's a whole lot of them. Ooh, I was supposed to be on the show Lost. Mm -hmm. Are you really? Yes, J.J. Abrams said. Oh yeah, here's your buddy. Oh, I know. J.J. Yeah, and I was dating this dude, and. We had to move to Hawaii, and he was like, we ain't going to Hawaii. Well, what he, he didn't have to go. I, I know, but I was engaged at the time. That was one of uh, my no. several. Damn. And I was like, but, well, I, but I want to go and do law. So I remember I was like, well, JJ, do you have anything else? Uh, I don't know if I, I, and I just didn't see the black woman in the, uh, on the plane crash in the jungle with the monsters. I didn't yeah. know what I was going to do. I felt mm. like my part was going to get smaller and smaller because <laughs> I'm going to run for mm -hmm. real. Um, but no, it was, it was, uh, I remember J.J. Abrams, we had this talk. I'll never forget when he showed me the script. This was mm -hmm. before it was on TV. I did like this. I said, <laughs> I was like, this is Gilligan's Island. What else you got? <laughs> I, oh, I promise you, I had no idea loss oh, would be huge. huge. Wow. So that thing hurts me. That's the truth. True story. Yeah. That, and the dude. Does that make you hate the dude even more? No, it, 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 it makes me not even hate myself, but look at myself about my choices. What happened to Why yes, did I let yes. a man? Yeah. Where is he now? And, huh? Where is he now? It, I don't want to say, but he's around. He 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 went and got remarried. I mean, married, and you know, I didn't make it to the altar. But that's my uh, personal struggles. Shut your mouth, you. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so that dude. was one role uh, that I did not get. And but then JJ went ahead and shot a created, pilot, created, created a, show for, a show for me, mm -hmm. and we shot it. But then his deal, he separated from. Uh, 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 Warner Brothers ABC and went and did Mission Impossible. Well, he got a bigger deal. Mm -hmm. And he was like, ah, that show didn't make it, Kim. But he was really upset about it. And, but when uh, I think about JJ, he gonna keep bringing you in. He yeah, loves to bring so people it was, back that he loves. Uh, so that's, that's my story on that mm -hmm. one. Y'all miss a role. That's crazy. JJ, I mean, because I, I mean, mm -hmm. that shows how universal blackness is if JJ Abrams wanted to do a yeah, whole show man. with you. Yeah. 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 It was me, Don Rickles, and uh, uh, Greg, Greg Grunberg. Don Rickles. Yes. It Damn. was so funny, but it was before its time because it was a black woman lead. They weren't mm, doing they that. Don't love to do wow. that. And I was playing a private uh, detective, and I had bought their uh, private detection agency because mm -hmm. I had won the lottery, and I had to look for my son. 
And it was just all this. It was like five million dollars. We That's blew dope. up stuff in centuries. Mm-hmm. Wow. They weren't ready. They mm-hmm. weren't ready they to see ready. the black woman running and yeah. shooting down. Niecy Nash is all shooting and running. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Nisi. You know, I this when I say this role, y'all gonna be like, sh- I, I first of all, I know that I never would have got it. I also didn't audition for it. I was supposed to go in for Tiffany Haddish's role in Girls Trip, mm-hmm. oh. and I and, I and we all know it can't nobody do that role but Tiffany. And but I read the script, and y'all now know me, little baby Jesus. There's mm-hmm. no way I could have played the role, mm-hmm. and so I just kindly said, you know, I don't think I'm the right one for this. And then I watch it blow up, and I see Tiffany's career. But again, because it's not about I gotta get it. I'm like, good for you, Tiff. Like it's mm-hmm. it's it's that. But that is one that I was supposed to go in for. That I didn't how do you have that level of self-awareness to know like this ain't this this role isn't for me because i'm again you gotta know your call you mm-hmm. gotta know what you're supposed mm-hmm. to do and again i started on a kid's show i can't i couldn't do it you know what i mean and i and also i wanted I, i'm not the person that's going to go in and say can you change this for me because i can't i took the role once you take the role you got to do the role yeah. right. and i wanted them to have the film that they wanted to make so i'm like this is not for me but i'm able to celebrate other people's wins mm-hmm. i don't look at other people's so like i wish mm-hmm. i had it because mm-hmm. i'm not when I started in this business, after watching these queens, I wanted to do one sitcom and one commercial. Mm-hmm. I am so far mm-hmm. beyond That's anything right. I could have ever dreamed wow. in my Cleveland Absolutely. bedroom That's that dope. for me to expect or ask for any more, I feel would be greedy. Mm. So again, whatever mm-hmm. comes, thank you. Yeah. She's the deep whatever one. doesn't go, mm-hmm. whatever doesn't come show. my way, God bless the person that gets it. I get, I find out about auditions and call friends. I read with yeah, a friend. Always done that. I read with mm-hmm. a friend for roles in this show, and I hadn't even been in on it for for this right. yet. But I wanted my friend to be on Act Your Age. That's and even cool. oh, Abbott Elementary, too. Yeah. That was horrible. I was going to say, I, yeah. I was supposed to have a meeting with either Abbott Elementary or really? this other pilot. Mm-hmm. I chose the pilot. That went as well. That did not go. Oh, was yep. it? No, 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 no. It did go, but it didn't get picked, picked up. up. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and this is a completely different show. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I remember no, it was that. Role, Janelle? Yep. For, which I don't role? remember which role, but I, was I know which to go role I went in for. Which one? Janelle. Janelle, oh, the principal. Horrible. Oh, man. But I didn't get an audition. Janelle didn't get an on that. But she's I can see really Kim being funny. that principal, too. Yeah. But Janelle is incredible. She's she's really really is. Is. She really is. What makes you horrible in an audition? Because you, you, you uh, audition. Being you yourself. Don't you know. no study. Don't study. Oh, you didn't study. So you just <laughs> I didn't, well, I, 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 there was a lot going on. And the kid was running around. And, and this was at a time when the pandemic, it was on Zoom. Oh, was I hate those. Very oh, difficult. It was extremely hard. I mean, I ain't gonna tell the true story, but uh, it was a lot What's going on. What's the true story? I can't tell the true story. Never say that story. You don't say, uh, this is the place you're supposed to tell the truth. Yes. yes. What's the this is the place you're supposed it's to tell the truth. truth. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 I'm like, I'm at the I don't know. People do see that in interviews. People be in the middle of the interview like, look, I'm gonna tell the truth. And they be like, speaking, like they've been lying the whole time. They've been lying the whole time. But you know, that is, and I, and I, I think Look about them all the way. Marlon Wayans is like a little bit big creep. Marlon, you know you, my boo, Marlon Wayans. I can't get too close to him. Come, so, he's yeah, buddy. You know what I like to say about you? Uh, hey, boo. Cute. Look at that's why he must Marlon, be with the scene. What you Marlon, like to say about Marlon? Can he break you off a little something? something. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. 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 I gotta quit saying it because it does go viral. Kim's been here thirty it. minutes and been mm-hmm. flirting oh, with three people already, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not done. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's the, the big dude's name? That big was Mac. Yeah, he felt soft and squishy. <laughs> I'm going to talk to him when I leave. He's too. married. Okay, sorry. I didn't know. I apologize, ma'am. <laughs> Say that out loud. Ma'am. Um, is ma'am. it hard Is it hard um, being in this era where everything is so criticized and like the criticism comes immediately through social media? Ooh, say that. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's, it's a, I think it's a quick, attention. it's a quick trigger. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think, I think there's not enough grace. I think you can need to give some people grace. People make mistakes sometimes. They misspeak. Yeah. They, they go somewhere they didn't know was going to be happening. And just mm-hmm. give, because you got to imagine, what if it was me? What if I slipped up and did that or said that? And the thing is, is there an apology? If somebody messes up, do they feel bad about it? Do mm-hmm. they come to you and say, ah, I missed the mark? Because mm-hmm. you want somebody to extend that grace to you when you miss the mark. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, now, if we talking about racism and we talking about MAGA and stuff like that, I'm throwing elbows. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. But yeah. if it's simply a mistake uh, b- between friends or someone that doesn't know you, they speak out of turn, I think it's important to extend a little grace. You ever watch those old movies and say, so give there's Kim no way grace. we could have did it? Say Thank right now? you. <laughs> you ever watch those old movies? Like, I was watching Trading Places on a plane, right? Uh, Eddie Murphy. My uncle was in that film. And some of the words that they were saying, I was like, boy, would they Couldn't get do canceled it now. Now. Yeah, do it now. They can't say those and, words. But look what they were doing that, in the 70s on Good Times and all those shows. But that's, 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 that's a Kim question because Kim is on stage mm-hmm. 
saying, mm -hmm. you know, they're comedians. So I appreciate that. And matter, matter of fact, I have a show on St. Louis at the Grand Day. Oh, my God. March 10th. That's Metro, why I'm trying to throw you. Get your tickets, tickets at MetroTix.com. Metro Metro St. Louis. That's right. Grand Deal. That now, can you answer look. the damn question? Uh, first of all, I don't know if you can cuss on the radio. <laughs> you can. Yes, you can. You can. So, look here. Let me tell you about my ass. No, um, <laughs> you know what it is the, about this show? That's the great thing about Act Your Age that we said it, it is a... I guess I go back, a flashback to the old sitcom times because we take chances on this show. Yes, we do. We say yeah. things that... And uh, that's what makes it current. Mm -hmm. Right, that we take it to the edge because that's what's missing in comedy. I right agree. now. It, it, do you remember the old sitcom? They would say anything. Oh the, my, Jeff the Jeffersons? Oh, the what? Oh, my goodness. All in the family. I mean, Kim is, family. Kim is masturbating in the second episode. Well, I, I, I am. I am. I am um, what? The character, the character <laughs> is... Yeah, the character. Her character, that on, her character, was that on sorry. camera or off camera? Would y'all saw me? <laughs> what? Well, she, 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 she didn't know. She So it does. So God. now, oh, for Kim. real comedy, Kim. you got to live in truth. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to say it. And that's what's even missing except for like David Chappelle and certain comics. Mm -hmm. You have to be able. Funny is when you say what other people are thinking. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you got to be smart about it too. Get, like you got to like really. Like I just said, yeah. and y'all mm -hmm. caught me. See, but mm -hmm. let me tell you something. 10 years ago, y'all wouldn't have said that. You'd have been like, ah, that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. You're so crazy, but we're so right, nervous because y'all so looking nervous. out for we're me. You're like, Kim, don't say that. Right. You better not say that. You can. We know what you meant when you said it. Right. We, we know, know what how she people going to take it out of context. Yeah. Yeah. How people going to take it. That mm -hmm. is Absolutely. the truth, and that'll be the headline. We trying to make the headline act but your age. But that's what we're talking about. The, that's the problem. Yeah. So in mm -hmm. act your age, uh, Allison Files really lets us go there, mm -hmm. and we go there, and we all like, ooh, is this going to be? And standard standards and practice, they, they allow us, us go. They mm -hmm. to go. So, you know, uh, big ups to, to Bounce and Scripts yeah, and uh, MGM, all of them that mm -hmm. really say, let the girls go. Right. Mm -hmm. It's funny. We talk about Allison real life. to create that, too. But right. I appreciate that because that is the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, did, how did you and Sherry handle uh, the Monique situation after, after y'all talked about the reading and she didn't like that? Did y'all reach out to her to... Like what I said was, I'm gonna be in St. Louis at the Grand Day. Yeah, that's <laughs> March right. Tip, there you go. Um, Metro uh, Ticks. Uh, Metro Ticks. <laughs> but the truth is, this we love Monique, mm -hmm. and and when we were talking, this is just the truth. We're giving her flowers. That is the truth. Mm -hmm. She is an awesome actress, mm -hmm. and in this She's movie, the best we got. I was screaming. I was like, "Dang, we miss her! Like, mm -hmm. miss her on screen." Mm -hmm. And and that's the truth. Mm -hmm. We love her. She's mm -hmm. funny. Me and her used to be best friends, mm -hmm. and I can't say anything that sometimes and we not gonna say nothing we, bad about bad, people. It, 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 mm -hmm. right. These are Just, our sisters. Yeah, yeah. You know what and I'm saying? And, 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 and it's the thing. I think uh, that's the the quick trigger, right? Where everybody mm -hmm. just I got. I, I, would you hear what's going Listen to what they actually said, though, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and also and if it came out wrong, because sometimes you misspeak, then appreciate the love when the love is said. That's that's the truth. And that's the truth. We love, we love. every I don't know mm -hmm. any black actress in this industry that does not love and revere Monique. Mm -hmm. She is one She's, of the best that we got. Absolutely. She and really so that is. is the truth. The little comments or stuff that came out wrong mm -hmm. or whatever. That's we gonna have some grace and extend mm -hmm. some grace and we gonna move on. But the truth, love her. Yeah. All and of the us. The truth is that love she her. is anything she's in. She's great she, at. I'm like, dang, if she I got a little yeah. bit of that. She does. She mm -hmm. puts it down, whatever mm -hmm. the other. And she looks out for she, people, too. I remember yeah. when I first got into business, I mm -hmm. couldn't get arrested. Yeah. Nobody would ever let me do talk shows. Mm -hmm. She had the talk, her talk show down in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and she MVP, said, yeah. I, I want this girl to come. I want her to come. She had just mm -hmm. won her Golden Globe, brought mm -hmm. the Golden Globe out. She said, Yvette, hold this so you can feel what it's like when it's your turn. It ain't been my turn in a very long time ever. But <laughs> she wanted me to see what it feels like. That is her heart. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. the heart of Tisha. That's the heart of Kim. That's the heart of Sherry. It's That's what the truth is. Mm -hmm. So let's di let's dig on down and get to what the meat of the bone is, and it's love and respect. Real love and respect, absolutely. absolutely. And that's what uh, the podcast Two Funny Mamas" is all about. Peace <laughs> subscribe. I mean, you you, if you oh, talk about pitching. me putting out another, I pitching mean, you plug. Can I talk about Shay Bounce? She know what she's supposed to do. She know what she's supposed to do. I mean, and my cancer man, can I pitch my two? I got a couple of bands. So besides Act Your Age, I have two amazing animated shows. I have my dad, the Bounty Hunter. It's a black family in space on Netflix. It's Laz Alonzo and Yvonne Orji and I saw two that. amazing yep. kids. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You start watching, you're going to binge the whole thing. That's mm -hmm. my dad, the bounty hunter. And then Shape Island, you mentioned earlier, it's a great show for young people, but not just for young young kids. And it's a, a, a circle, a square, and a triangle on an island. And they have a lot of differences and they have to learn to live together. And if we do that more in the world, we'll be great. So that's Shape Island 
on Apple TV Plus as well. Oh, yeah, and extra age on balance. The t-shirt you got uncoupled. That, that got renewed. Is back. They got renewed. Showtime's picking it up, right? Showtime That's is dope. picking it up. I'm really, I'm really, it was such a dope show. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was hoping that this particular show could do the, a smidgen of what Pose did. You know, yes. like really affect you know, um, everybody and mm-hmm. make the norm norm and, you know, in places in the Midwest or in the, in the, mm-hmm. in the um, Bible Belt, you mm-hmm. know, we mm-hmm. were hoping that we could affect people and, and people would like and it. And the hope is still there. And the back. hope is still yes, there. So we're shooting back. in New York. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. She's going to be in these streets, New York. Mm-hmm. With y'all. Right. Right. That's right. right. I, I, think <laughs> the ass away, I got it one more thing. Oh, another one. I got another show coming out. I think it's today mm-hmm. uh, on Hulu with Wanda Sykes called History of the World. Yes. 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 What about Kim on Audible. What about and that's Kim? That's right. I do have my pod, my other uh, sitcom, podcast sitcom podcast that she never asked on, Kim on, on Audible. Okay. She showed an answer. It was no. number. It was in the top ten. Oh on my Audible. There you go. Hey. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let me tell you about these shoes no. I got. No. 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 Okay. Okay. I need to ask one last question, especially <laughs> with you being from New York. So, were you guys quote unquote corny growing up being in the arts? This question, of course, comes from Michael B. Jordan, where they said he was corny uh, growing up. You're from Newark, so you know the area. First, I was oh, and Yvette already had something to say about that. I saw you just on social media. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I don't know. Listen, I, bullies bother me. Mm-hmm. People that just go out of their way to make people feel small. And, and this is the thing. I remember when Tabitha Brown said this phrase, and this is really universal when it comes to bullies. Mm-hmm. What pain you must be in. To wake up on a day and go, I'm going to I'm gonna find something and teach. I don't like, well, you, you go, hey, Fedora. You know what I mean? Like, why do you have to hey, die? Hey, to Dora. Dora. Hey, she was waiting for that one. She was, she was waiting for that t-shirt. She was waiting for that one. Hey, Dora. Hey, Dora. Hey, Dora. Hey, Dora. Hey, Dora. Hey, Dora. Dora. Hey, 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 Dora. <laughs> people go out of their way to find something that they think will really harm somebody and drill in. And I didn't mind what 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 Michael did on that carpet. People were like, well, he was... No, she was unkind to him years ago, and she thought she was going to roll up now that he didn't made it. <laughs> no, babe, I, I see you. And he wasn't rude. Oh, I he was just this. like, mm-hmm. I see you. And, and I remember you used to call me corny, right? So, mm-hmm. so why you got the mic in my face? Mm-hmm. That's so even harder than what he said. Mm-hmm. And I think that sometimes you got to snatch a wig and be like, listen... We, we trying to do this right, but let me tell you when you missed the mark. Because, again, it's not about just forgiving and, and everybody. Sometimes you got to tell somebody, I don't appreciate that. Mm-hmm. What you did was foul. I love you, mm-hmm. but it was foul. So, that you know. He, that he talked to. I have a different yeah. take on that. What's your take? Well, my take is, well, first of all, I wasn't corny. I was a tomboy, mm-hmm. straight boy. Mm-hmm. But I feel like now that I'm older, mm-hmm. yeah. my haters were my motivators. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I look back on the people that said things to me and I remember oh, saying, that's me. That's me. That I'm going to show you. Yeah. If right. I didn't have them, same thing. I might not have had that fuel. Oh, me and right. you the same. Right. Me and you the same. Right. same. same. Right. Oh, I touched them. But so what I'm saying is, <laughs> yes, really, Mary. it did. Okay, another one? Yes. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, but I, I took that fuel and and it, it's, it's so funny. I remember... I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Here we go. Truthfully, honestly speaking. Honestly speaking. Let me just go and tell the truth. Because I never said this out loud. But what I, and this wasn't a hater, but I, being younger, me and Gerald LeBert, of course, were very good friends and close. And I remember on my Define journey. Close. I'm kidding. They'll get it when I say this. Mm-hmm. On my journey mm-hmm. to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do this and that. And Gerald brought me out to Hollywood and mm-hmm. I went to Soul Train with her. And that's when I got to meet the people at 227. And everything happened. And I remember Gerald looked at me and he was like, mm. he said, you know, there can only be one star in this family. Let me tell you something. I didn't, I was like, oh, what? I, I can't do what I need to do. But what it did for me was say, Oh, okay. No, I'm going to show you. Mm-hmm. Which might, if you wanted to be with a man, maybe I should. I should have been like, okay, I'll be a wife. But it it fueled me, and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, so it's gonna be like that. I was like, you you watch, I can do this. Yeah. He didn't understand because I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He didn't see the potential mm-hmm. in me. But as I my star rose, we we got close, and he was like, okay, I see you, mm-hmm. I see you, wow. and we started doing things together. Mm-hmm. And really, he said, I didn't know that you can actually do this. Mm-hmm. I didn't see that's it cool. in you. That's so cool. that that's when I say that kind of thing. When he's mm-hmm. when the that's people dope. say stuff like that. Not that he was a hater. Mm-hmm. He just mm-hmm. was like hey. he didn't see it. Yeah. Right. He, he didn't, didn't see, see you. Mm-hmm. He didn't How close were y'all to getting married? Yeah. Uh 
uh, 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 I was engaged a lot, but yeah. one thing, Drew, we were so close. He said, uh, he said, when we get 50, he said, this is what we said. If we're both not married, we're going to get married. Mm. Then there was, I'm telling a lot on well, the show. Sure, no, you can stop yourself at any time. No. You know, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> Nobody making you do none of this. And they, and they gotta go. You so you gotta tell, tell, tell this last story. story. Like, y'all got, y'all got, y'all gotta go. Y'all got TV, so y'all gotta tell this last story. Yeah, you ain't got to tell it. Go okay, ahead, put in your book. Put in your book. No, no, put in your book. Put in your book. Put in your book. Put in your book. There, there, there was one BET no, no, you, award. You did it. No, no, no. You did it. Now you told me. Well, listen again. No, no, no. Kim. Kim, okay, Kim. Let it go. Kim, you right here. Kim, Kim, Kim. Y'all got to stay. It's like the hey, devil hey, in the air. Kim, you right here, Kim. So uh, after Kim, A comes Kim, there out you go. on Saturday. Absolutely. I do want to say, how, how, how many times have you gotten confused with Jack A. Harris? Because you mentioned 227 just now. Oh, right. I did. Yeah. I get Jack A. Uh, every day. Uh, every, especially every day. Especially yeah. I wear my hair dark. And we, that was all in that era of situations yeah. but uh you went over that role she no she no saying, no she way too young okay. but uh you are standing we're friends now yeah, you i standing. came in so they brought me back at that time they said can you come in and stand in for her mm -hmm. and play her double and that's how uh my and career began. Yeah, began and marla gibbs was very instrumental oh, we love during marla. that time marla marla gibbs. Gibbs. they gotta go wow yeah we gotta, gotta go, go. Sorry. I, and you guys invite you gotta come back. Anytime you guys in town, oh, whether it's individual, it. together, you guys come on. You know that's binding. That's binding. That's binding. I will come with y'all. Please don't. I mean, it's three girls on there. Excuse me, it's three people in here. Excuse me, it's three. It's three of us. It's three people in here. We all talk. You all should say no tennis. I should say no tennis. I apologize. No, I said you got any time you guys in town. The Lord knows 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 I believe he did. He just singled her out. Kim got the two podcasts. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm You kind of said they can't speak? They can't speak. 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 I'd like to see my sister shine. So if y'all say, y'all want Kim here. I was trying to get both of us to shine. I don't care about that. I want her to shine. I don't care. You act like I don't. I want you to shine too. Tisha said too. She's a great host. She's supposed to just. I think so. I think Tisha kill her. I think it's better kill her. Tisha said that that mic and talk to people. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we got to get Kim up here by herself so Everybody nobody uh, stops the Gerald LeVert story. Right. I gotta that's what you're trying to do. No, no, no. That's what you're trying to do. Don't you come here without somebody helping you. He's going to get you. I need that guy. Tisha Campbell, Aventical, Brown, Kim Whitley. Thanks, guys. Make sure you check out Amazon Prime. Thank you. 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 Thank